Let's turn now to South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham. He's a member of the Judiciary Community <laughs> Center. Thanks, thanks for being here. I, I just want to give yeah, your overall reaction. You. <laughs> also, the news, the, yeah, take it where you right. want, but the news <laughs> breaking that in just minutes, potentially, the grand jury in Georgia may, yeah. may vote to indict. Well, I know it's Georgia, but, you know, you usually don't assign a judge and give a docket number until the jan grand jury actually votes. That tells you all you need. You know, you have the trial after you hang the guy, right? This is crazy stuff. But yeah. the statements you just heard from these uh, liberal analysts make me sick to my stomach. No American in the country would get a deal like Hunter Biden got. And, you know, the Weiss team lied to the judge. I'm here on national television. I don't believe for one moment there was an ongoing investigation. Uh, the diversion agreement completed, once completed, wiped out all the financial crimes that are, that are out there. So there was nothing left to investigate if the diversion agreement on the gun charge actually was implemented. The defense attorney said, I would never take my client into court and plead guilty if I thought there were more charges is pending. Nobody would do that. So when they told the judge there was an ongoing investigation, that was to cover their ass because the judge figured out this was a sweetheart deal. They panicked. Mm -hmm. So what happened in Delaware was an abuse of power. The Weiss team needs to be replaced. I have zero confidence they're actually going to impartially investigate this case. Yeah, I, and, and help me connect the dots here. You've been in Washington. You've seen investigations. You've, how common is it yeah. that evidence comes out the next day, <laughs> the next day, time and time again? You know, your monologue, you should just, like, print it and send it out. It's pretty obvious here that the system, when it comes to Trump, there are no rules. They uh, misled the FISA court, the, the Russian hoax stuff. The Mueller investigation got rebu rebuked by the FISA court. An attorney for the FBI uh, was charged and convicted of altering evidence to get Trump. And every time something comes up out about Hunter, Hunter Biden, they sweep it under the rug. They and looked at this for five years. All the felony charges were allowed to lapse because of the statute of limitations. They charged the guy with misdemeanor tax evasion, still millions of dollars, and a gun charge. But here's what pisses me off. The way they wrote this deal is if he completes the diversion program on the gun charge, all the things that the New York Post and the House have found about these shady deals with foreign governments all go away. That was hidden in the agreement, and the judge stumbled on it. So the fix was in. They were going to give Hunter Biden the deal of a lifetime, and a judge asked good questions, and it blew up in their face. And the fix is still in, though, isn't Senator? I mean, so you heard the IRS whistleblower. Yes. A special counsel at this point with the same person means they can continue to say it's an ongoing investigation where nothing happens. So this is about not answering my question. Remember the 1023 FBI form alleging that Hunter Biden and Joe Biden was talking to a Burisma official, 17 phone calls, 15 to Hunter, two to Joe Biden, talking about money, and he had tapes. What happened to that? I know the Pennsylvania U.S. attorney was the clearinghouse for this stuff. He found it legitimate enough to send it to Weiss in Delaware. What happened to it? Did they investigate it? Did they find it was all a bunch of garbage? Did they seriously look at it? Here's what I'm telling you right now. If, if they don't, if they keep the diversion agreement in place where all of the financial transactions with foreign governments go away, that would be a miscarriage of justice. That would be unfair to the people of the United States. Nobody listening to this program would ever get a deal like that. No, no chance. And, and others who face similar charges, of course, didn't get that deal. Uh, right now, uh, Senator, you probably can't see it. We're looking live outside the Atlanta courthouse. Um, it's, it's historic yeah. any time a former president were to be indicted. Now it's the fourth time, <laughs> this time over contesting the election in 2020. Talk to us about this case, what you know about um, the case the government will try to make or the state of Georgia will try to make here. Uh, I know that Fulton County is the most liberal county, I think, in all of Georgia. The DA there is a Democrat. I know that the, um, uh, they're trying to uh, use a RICO statute. I don't know exactly what they're going to come out with, but I know this. Between Manhattan and Fulton County and D.C., the most liberal jurisdictions in the country, it's very unfair to President Trump. And shouldn't this really be done by a statewide official? 
if there's a crime against the people of Georgia, shouldn't it be done by somebody like the Attorney General? Are we going to let county prosecutors start prosecuting the President of the United States, the former President of the United States? You open up Pandora's box to the presidency. This whole exercise of allowing a county prosecutor to go after a former President of the United States will do a lot of damage to the presidency itself over time. To my Democratic friends, be careful what you wish for. Yeah, play this forward. How do you run for president uh, in 2024, moving between courthouses in New York City and Washington, D.C., and Florida and Atlanta? He's spending more money on lawyer fees than he is running for office. Uh, January the 6th, I was there. I saw it. He was impeached over it. The American people can decide whether they want him to be president or not. This should be decided at the ballot box not in a bunch of liberal jurisdictions trying to put the man in jail. They're weaponizing the law in this country. They're trying to take Donald Trump down, and this is setting a bad precedent. And what I fear is that you're changing the way the game is played in America, and there's no going back. We're in for a very hard time if this becomes the norm. Absolutely right. Um, Senator Lindsey Graham, thank you for your time tonight. We appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.